So with the new Evoto AI update, something major has come along for photographers and I wanna show you right now. So Evoto AI has released something in their newest update that is absolutely game changer. I really think this is going to change the way that photographers work as far as streamlining their editing process. And I wanna show it to you right now. If this is your first time here, my name is Josh. I'm a professional photographer and coach. And my goal is to help you grow as a photographer or grow your photography business. So I wanna show you this AI color match that Evoto AI has released. Now, full transparency, this is a paid video. They did pay me to make this video, but the review still is my honest opinion because I think this is honestly going to be a game changer when it comes to quickly retouching photos. Let's get into my computer so I can show you what I'm talking about. So what they have done, what Avoto AI has done is they've released an AI color match system in their newest update. So what does that mean? Essentially what that means is you can take a photo, you can drop your edited photo in as a sample what the AI will do is it will read that photo and then it will apply it to whatever photo that you apply it to, that you put it on. And this is going to absolutely change the process when you're trying to keep an editing style. I really enjoy this. What I've done is I've actually went and edited a couple photos and I've created these styles. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to import them and adjust them to match your photo that you're trying to edit. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you're on the newest Evoto. Make sure that you're on Evoto 4.0.5 or newer. And that will make sure that you have the AI color match. So now what we're gonna do, I have my first photo in here of Kaylee and Abe. And what I wanna do is I want to go into the color palette. I've already done my, some adjustments to the skin. And what the reason I'm doing it this way is if I just added a preset, it would get rid of all of the adjustments that I've already did where this one is going to not touch your adjustments, but it's going to change the adjustments of the color palette. So the way that you're gonna do it, you're gonna go into the color adjustments palette. You're going to look for this right here that says create new look. And we're going to just go ahead and click upload for color matching. Now, what I wanna do is I want to apply this one right here. This is one that I created. This is an edited photo and you'll see it drop in into the palette here. This is your AI color adjustments palette and you can see that it automatically added it to it. But let's go ahead and let's get back to this page. So these are some that I've already created. I'm gonna go ahead and just name this one. We'll rename this. Uh, let's name it Crunchy, Crunchy Wedding here. So what we can do is we can take that and we can apply it to this photo. As you can see, it's the same wedding, it's the same style, and we will go ahead and just go ahead and hit crunchy wedding. And there you go. It automatically applied it to the photo that was on the palette that we were working on. And it did a pretty dang good job of it. Uh, there was a, There's a few things that I would change. I would probably bring my exposure up just a little in the photo and then bring the contrast up just a little to give it a little bit crunchier of a look. But I mean, that was one click and look how similar the two look. It didn't just slap the preset on over like a lot of other editing programs do. It actually took the photo, looked at it and adjusted it to what it felt the photo needed to look like. That's why I kind of needed to go back and change it just a tad. But overall, man, this is, this is incredible. This is, this is changing the game. Because now what I can do is I can take this photo right here and I can do the same thing to it. Same wedding, we'll just go ahead, we'll apply that same preset. You'll see that it's processing and there we go. Our photo is done. So now we have these photos that match each other and we are good to go. We have color presets that are custom to each photo and have allowed me to match. Now here's something that's even cooler about this before I go into showing you one more photo. If you don't have an editing style, let's say that you're new to the industry and you're still trying to figure out your editing style. What you can do is you can go in here to this color looks, AI color looks, hit recommended, and it's going to give you a list of different AI looks that you can try. So if let's say you wanna go with a vivid light, you're gonna add that. Let's say you wanna do this pure love, which is a little bit cooler of a tone. But how about we wanna go down here and we wanna get a little bit more uh, stylistic with it. We want to get a little more edgy with it and give it more of a look. So we'll let's try olive green. And you can see that it's adding that punch to that green. 
We'll go on down here and let's try warm cinnamon. I really like this one. Look at that look. That's that warm brownish tone, that rust tone that a lot of photographers are using right now. This is baked into this program. This is in Evoto AI and it allows you to do it right here. So now that I've done this one, so I like this warm cinnamon, what I could do is I could go in and I could select both of my photos and I could sync them together. And it's now going to add this preset over to the other one. And you can come here now and see that we got this really awesome look, really awesome look. And we didn't do anything. So here's another thought that I have with this. Let's say that you are an instructor like I am and you want to allow people to use your editing style. Instead of needing to create a preset pack now, you could literally just create a pack of images and send that to someone and they can upload them to a Voto AI and then just apply them to their photos. No more needing to create preset packs or download LUTs or anything like that. Now, with that being said, I'm still using LUTs. I'm still using my own editing style. But when it comes to just starting or getting a feel for yourself or getting a feel for the way that the editing workflow works, I think this is incredible. I think this is the way that we're going to change images. I think this AI adaptation is going to really change the industry when it comes to editing. I'm not worried about it really changing uh, the industry as far as us losing jobs. I think there's still a market for retouchers, for editors, stuff like that. I th just think this is really going to help us grow. So let's go into one more photo because it's a completely different style. So this is me, of course, and I want to show you that I can actually bring in a completely different look. It doesn't have to be weddings. So I'm going to take this photo, I'm going to bring it in, and I'm going to apply it. Then I'm going to actually add one more from here, and I'm going to apply that one too to show you the difference in the two. So let's go ahead, let's import that. It's going to generate it, it's going to apply it, and we're going to get something like that. I absolutely love it. I love the way that this photo looks, but let's try this other one here, which is going to be this one. So we'll bring it in, we'll apply it, it'll process it, and now we have this photo. So if you can see the two, what it's done is it's it's really desaturated all the background and the, the what's going on around the photo. It's brought out, up the saturation in the blues because that's what I did here. But now we can just kind of switch between the two depending on which style we want here. And I have options for this photo. So that is Evoto AI color match in a nutshell. I think this update, this first version out in AI is really well done. I think that Evoto AI has hit it spot on with the amount of editing it needs to do and the way that it does it. I haven't found too many instances where I'm like, I just don't like what that did. It did not do a good job. Now, with that being said, I have done a couple where it kind of makes the images like creamy and then you have to draw either the intensity back or uh, add some contrast or some clarity or something like that, just slightly though. But I mean, this is your first version of this. This is AI ground zero as far as this color matching goes. I think that this is going to really help with replication because there are photographers out there that don't have a style yet. And with something like this, they'll actually be able to go in create a style with one photo and then be able to just replicate that almost automated to all of their other photos by hitting that sync button. I think that this is going to really, really improve our workflows as photographers and retouchers. So if you wanna give Evoto AI a try, I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below to get you a little bit of a discount. I also make a small percentage off that, so thank you for using it. But I highly suggest trying it out. Even if you just wanna play around, download the demo, Try it out, you can't export, but if you use my discount link, you can, and you'll be able to use these photos. Uh, give it a try, play around with it, see what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you like it, what you'd like to see improve, because I do talk to the, the people over at Ovoto all the time. So if there are suggestions that you have, please leave them in, in the comments and I will make sure that they get them and they will be able to see what's going on. That's why I do these videos for one, to show you what is possible and what is available and two, to get feedback so I can give it to these companies, these, these software companies, these app companies, these equipment pro product manufacturers and say, hey, this is what the people are saying. 
or this is what they like, or this is what they don't like. These are things that they are asking me to ask you. So leave a comment if there's something that you like, if there's something you don't like, and I'll make sure it gets to the right people. And also, if you want to continue learning from me, maybe consider watching this video because both me and the YouTube algorithm think that you would really enjoy it. I'll talk to you guys later. I am out of here. Deuces.